Hello viewers, I am Dr. Rahul Reddy, consultant andrologist from AndroCare Andrology Institute, Hyderabad. Today we will be discussing, we will be discussing about uh, erectile dysfunction. So most of the males, they have erectile dysfunction and this video will help them in coming to a proper diagnosis. So always diagnosis is very important in treating these kind of problems. See, just giving Viagra kind of medications may not help in curing the problem. What we have to do is, we have to bring these males out of uh, medical treatment. See, when they get confidence is, as long as you are taking your tablet and performing, your confidence will always be on the lower side. So this is not a cure, that is a temporary solution. But what we have to do in treating erectile dysfunction is, in 70% of the males, we can actually cure this problem. So always root cause analysis is very important. This ch chart will help us in root cause analysis. So the first common cause, if you see erectile dysfunction, any patient who has erectile dysfunction, the main uh, causative factors will fall in these four uh, different groups. So one is, which is very common in young males is psychological ED. Psychological ED means generally they will have good erections, but because of previous failures or uh, abnormal fears or abnormal uh, expectations, they will have psychological ED. That means uh, if they try for first time because of some anxiety or uh, first day they are stressed out or some couples during their first night already they are tired because of their uh, hectic schedules, they can't perform because of the tiredness. So once there is a failure, they always think about their failure. So next time, normally people when they try for sex, they will have that excitement. But once there is a failure, that excite, that failure will harm them. Always it sits there. So next time when they try for sex, always this failure, they keep thinking about this previous failure and which leads to another failure. So this is called a psychogenic ED. And apart from this, there are so many performance related doubts sitting there by. Like, uh, size of their organ, ejaculatory dysfunction, how many and whether their partner will be happy or not. There are so many other doubts which leads to confusion and they keep, uh, they will have negative thoughts and which leads to failure and it, it settles down as psychological aid. Second common cause is hormonal aid. Now, most of the males have testosterone deficiency, not only testosterone, vitamin D deficiency, uh, all the vegetarians they will have B12 deficiency and zinc deficiency uh, and hormone deficiency, all these things can cause hormonal erectile dysfunction. So testosterone is the main male hormone. This testosterone, uh, nowadays most of the males they have this testosterone deficiency because of our lifestyle. So if you see, anyway, I will be making a separate video about uh, testosterone hormone, but common uh, problems what we face is uh, lack of sleep, stress, exercise, lack of exercise, prolonged sitting, uh, obesity, smoking, alcohol, all these things can cause hormonal erectile dysfunction. And this can be totally cured with simple some medications and lifestyle uh, modification we can actually uh, treat this, we can cure this and psychological ED, we, they need some confidence. So just consultation may not uh, help these patients because what happens is one medication or two medications may not bring down their anxiety. So they need proper consultation, counseling and doctors, they need doctors help till they perform successfully. Once or twice they perform normally. They'll, uh, they'll be okay. After that, they don't need any treatment. The third group is little difficult group is vascular ED. So now see, penis is like a balloon. There are two cylinders in the penis. These two cylinders, if they are properly filled with blood, then you get an erection. So now if these two cylinders, normally this is the penis and there are two cylinders. And there is one more urine pipe just below that. If these two cylinders are properly filled with blood, then you get an erection. So the, the grade of hardness also depends how much of blood is going inside, what is the quality of the blood vessels, whether they are healthy or whether there is any blockage. So this vascular ED depends on this blood supply. But this is little difficult to treat because 
already if blood vessels are totally damaged, it takes some time. In 70% of them, we can completely bring them out of medical treatment. Probably they it takes four to uh, five months or three to four months for them to come out of medical treatment. So then they have to maintain their lifestyle. Then that makes them help. That means we can cure them. But in 30% of these patients with vascular ED, they need surgeries or therapies like uh, shockwave therapy. And the last one is neurological, but this is very rare. This is only a scene after some spinal cord surgeries or uh, major accidents uh, where which includes spinal cord injuries. This is rare. Generally, people with neurological ED, uh, they don't have erections at all. People with vascular ED or hormonal ED, they'll have mild erections, but here zero erection. So it is easy to differentiate and it's a rare problem. So now we have only three things to uh, identify whether a patient sits uh, in psychological group or hormonal group or vascular group or sometimes a combination. Once there is hormonal erectile dysfunction, their confidence levels will come down and uh, again psychological uh, ED can set in. So now we have to analyze where they sit in and we have to treat from there. Okay viewers, in our uh, upcoming videos, we will try to explain all these possibilities how to uh, overcome psychological ED, how to treat uh, naturally this hormonal uh, balance, how to balance hormones naturally and how to deal with vascular ED, what types of treatments available, how many months, how many, what, uh, what are the success rates, all these things we will be making videos. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, if you have any queries, please post in comment section. We, will, we can't answer uh, individual questions, but we will be making videos on uh, all your comments because it is useful for uh, other, other people who are having similar problem. So keep watching our videos uh, viewers, goodbye.